Hey guys, how you going? Uh, my name is Dom and today I want to talk about the matches method inside the JavaScript document object model. Um, so basically this method allows you to check whether or not um, an element matches a specified uh, selector. Um, so you may find a use for this method or you may not but it's actually um, quite useful to know that it's there. Um, so let's just see how this works with a example. Um, so inside the source code for this document um, it looks like this. So uh, we are going to create a new element right here um, and then call this matches method um, on it. So let's just create a new um, a new paragraph tag inside the body um, and give it an ID of my para. Okay, inside here we'll just put some uh, some dummy text. Okay, so saving and refreshing gives us this paragraph right there. Um, pretty straightforward. So um, we're going to use the matches method right now um, to check whether or not um, this paragraph tag slash element um, uh, matches a selector um, that we actually pass in. So let's just make a new constant and we'll call this one results which is equal to uh, my para. Actually let's first get a reference to um, the my para paragraph element. So let's just make a new constant uh, firstly and give it a, a, a name of my para equal to document dot get element by ID. We're going to pass my para inside here. Um, so now uh, my para inside the JavaScript refers to this paragraph element right there. Okay, so now um, we can call uh, make a new constant called result equal to my para and then we're going to call the matches method right there. This returns a boolean uh, true or false. Okay, so inside here you pass in your selector. Um, so this is just your typical CSS selector. So for example um, if I was to put a hashtag right here and then say my para, um, that means you know does this paragraph tag um, basically have an ID of my para? Um, so if I was to console.log the results, okay, right there. Um, if I was to save this and refresh my browser inside the developer console, we see true right there because um, this selector hashtag my para. Um, matches on this my paragraph um, element. So um, if I was to actually say um, a dot instead of a hashtag, so this means a class of my para, save and refresh this one and we get false. So um, in that case the selector does not match. Um, so I'll just show you a few more examples. Um, instead of the, uh, uh, the um, ID of my para Let's make a new attribute and say data and then dash something like um, name is equal to Dominic. So um, with this one, it's a it, it's a custom data attribute added to the paragraph tag or element um, called name with a value of Dominic. So now um, inside here, I can actually say um, let's see if this my para element. Um, matches um, with using the square bracket um, I guess notation inside here you can specify an attribute for example a data name so inside square brackets you can search for or um, I guess select an attribute so if I was to save and refresh this one um, we see true right there because uh, clearly um, this paragraph element um, has an attribute of data slash name. If I was to make this data dash names, save and refresh, um, this time we get false. Okay, so you can see how it works. Um, it supports, um, I believe, all of the CSS selectors. So um, it's obviously, you know, I, I think it's uh, mostly useful when you're dealing with um, uh, third party code or maybe someone else's code. Um, so, one more thing. If I also just put a P inside here, that means match a paragraph tag. So in this case, this is a paragraph element. So um, if I'll save this and refresh, we get true right there. Okay, and that is how you can use the 
um, the matches method inside the JavaScript document object model. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.